Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Fukuoka, and this is the capital of Japanese street food in Japan. Every day at about 6 p.m., the yatai, or the Japanese street food stalls, they set up and they serve all sorts of delicious food, things like ramen, gyoza, tempura. Tonight, we're going on an ultimate Japanese street food tour. We're gonna be eating at five stalls that each specializes in something different. Guaranteed, there's gonna be a lot of delicious, mouth watering food coming up. We're gonna meet some of the friendly people behind the yatai stalls, and we're just gonna have a lot of fun in the process. So stay tuned, you're not gonna to wanna to miss any of it. All coming up right now in this video. We're starting off this ultimate yatai street food tour in Fukuoka in the Tenjen, kind of like the downtown area. This is the busiest area in all of Fukuoka. And right about at 6 p.m., you'll notice that the yatai, the street food stalls, start to set up. And they set up so fast, they drop off their carts with their goods, everything is prepared, they're ready to go so fast, they do it so expertly. We are on our way to our first stall, and this is gonna be an amazing place. This is one of the places I'm most looking forward to. Actually, all five of them. We have arrived to the first place. It's called Kokinchan, and this place is legendary. You can get the original yaki ramen, and we're hopefully gonna see the entire process, but this is where our street food tour is going to begin. Bro, there's already a line going down the wall a little bit. She's just hanging up the menu, um, and they're about to open for service for the night. We are inside the first yatai on this tour. It's so cozy in here, and because it is winter, that's why they have the, the plastic around the, the sides so it's warm and all the, all the heat is here, but all the food is right in front of you. They have quite a mix of different dishes, but the yaki ramen is their signature dish. We're gonna see the whole process right in front of us, the oden, you can feel the steam of the oden. So she first boils the noodles fresh, and those are good looking noodles. Wow, there's the finished product. That's something magical and spectacular. The yaki ramen and the ramen master. He is third generation. This is where you get the original fried ramen and they finish it off with a scoop of, it's like boiled pig organs and I think that's simmered down along with miso. It almost looks like a cheesy gravy, but that's miso. Oh, I cannot wait to try it. Okay, here we go. 
Mm. Oh, that's so good and so hearty. As opposed to being a like stir fried noodle that it has that smoky wok flavor. This is more like a fried soup. That's just, I mean, the ramen is there. The broth has just condensed into a gravy. I think the sourness, which is coming from ponzu sauce that was in that sauce that he added to the noodles, it has this sourness to it. So warming and so comforting. I ordered uh, horuman, cabbage fried with intestines. Mm. So tasty. The sear of the hot plate, the chewiness of those intestines and those organs, and then uh, just uh, the crunch of the cabbage and the chives. Mm. Good. Then additionally, they said to try the yaki ramen with the uh, mustard. I'll try some of that mustard. Mm. Oh. oh, that mustard has horseradish in it. Well, that's a nice contrast to the richness of it. This yaki ramen is something truly special. Maybe add a little chili to the... Oh. You definitely do want to kind of stir that it mustard and not take a whole blob of it in one bite. Mm. It's so good. Yuzu. You can smell that citrusy aroma. And it might have some of the Japanese pepper in it as well. Sancho, possibly? Mm. Mm. I love that flavor. The citrus. Like slight peppery fruitiness. So good. Stepping into Yatai number two. This one is a legendary Yatai street food stall called Yatai Mamichan, known for its very friendly atmosphere. They have many specialties as well, but I think they serve almost anything you can imagine Japanese food is gonna be found in this stall here. The entire Yatai knows when he's making another batch of gyoza. It's just like a fire in the hole. It just ignites. Oh man, gotta give it up to Chef. Props to Chef. He does it all and he's so fast and he's so quick. He really is like darting around the kitchen, dancing as he cooks, he cleans, he really does it all. The gyoza is hot and fresh, we have to try it out. He just smokes out the gyoza. Oh, wow. Oh, that gyoza is absolutely incredible. Oh, it's charred on the edge. It's so smoky. And the inside is just so light and fluffy. Oh, it's so tasty. Oh, he's making the omelet. Next dish, this is the his famous omelet, which is made with a mento, which is the like a salted, preserved, spicy fish roe. You'll know, find it in Fukuoka, it's extremely famous. So he still puts some of the menta inside of the omelet. This is one of his famous dishes, the omelet. Mm. Oh wow, oh that's so good, it's so runny, and you got the liquidy of the egg plus the crunchy on the outside. How's that flavor? Oh man, the menta has so much umami. It's so, such a perfect balance of saltiness, a hint of spice, and then just that preserved, condensed. I mean, that is the definition of umami in an egg. Oishi, that is so tasty. Yeah, thank you very much.
Next up for the beef tongue, which is another signature dish here. Mm. Man, I think no matter what you order here, it's gonna be tasty. All that tongue is cooked to perfection, seared on a hot fire, and just like raw and juicy on the inside. <laughs> It's a one-man show. Okay, arigato gozaimasu. He does it all right in this kitchen. His cooking skills and multitasking skills. You've never seen someone like him. He's so talented, so skilled, works so hard, non-stop action. Fried rice, he just like he just fires it out, he smokes it out he, in that wok. There's egg, there's pork in here, there's some vegetables, and then he finishes some of that pickled Japanese ginger, I believe, and then some scallions. Oh man, this smells so good. Fried rice. Oh. And he does it without making mistakes, just making things so tasty. Wow, that fried rice is incredible. The balance of flavor, the saltiness is perfect. The smokiness, I love that touch of the, the ginger. That's a delicious fried rice. This place is just positivity, happiness, delicious food. Just welcome and hospitality. Japanese cooking to the next level. It's all in one. Oh, it's such a good place. And that complete stall, number two, ducking out of here. He is so friendly. He is so skilled. Man, talk about multitasking on the next level. Highly recommended. Food is absolutely sensationally delicious. Everything that we ate was delicious. Like, just so tasty. Such a cool place. But keep on watching, we have a lot more to eat. We're at number three, and we're at a place this is called Tenichi. This is it. Okay. They are famous, legendary for tempura, so we're gonna eat a totally different food. I mean, that's the aim of today is to also choose a new street food stall that specializes in a different dish every single time, all five places. Uh, so Tempura next and the Tempura master, they're just so friendly. This place is a little bit quieter and more like serious, but it's still that same kind of street food atmosphere. You smell the aroma of the oil as uncle is frying the Tempura fresh as soon as you order it. So my tempura set has arrived. There were two different sets that you could order. I got the, the set with two shrimp, with eggplant, with a variety of vegetables. I think maybe some fish in there too. That looks really good and with the sauce on the side. Let's go in for one of those. Oh. Fried hot and fresh right in front of you. Eggplant. The sauce with the radish inside. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's so hot and fresh and crispy. Oh, that's delicious. I love eggplant. Let's try one of the, the shrimp. That shrimp, a nice dip in that, that sauce with the radish. Oh, I think I gotta go in vertically. Oily, crispy, fresh. I love that sauce with the, the radish, the juiciness of the radish coming out. Mm. 
catch a fine plate of fresh tempura right in front of you on the street in Fukuoka. I believe that this is fish. Mm. Oh wow. Definitely fish and it just melts in your mouth. I think this is a pepper. Fried pepper battered in deep fried. Oh yeah. Got oh, pepper. Oh, it's so flavorful. There's a mushroom, there's some little small fish, there's another shrimp, a piece of pumpkin. Okay, final shrimp. Very tasty. Is it 1,100? Okay. Oishi, arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, it's kind of like coming out of a cave. It's so warm and cozy and delicious in there. Oh, that was good. We've got more to eat. So, I am just loving, absolutely loving the Yatai Japanese street food culture so far. The food is delicious, the friendly culture, and you like hang out, you talk with people. It has that izakaya kind of culture to it, but that's really cool that really stands out to me and that's something i think you will love i love about the yatai culture when you're in fukuoka next up on this yatai japanese street food tour we're going to a place called yatai kiryu and they're known for their hakata ramen oh yeah it's cozy in here and so many good aromas coming out of here they're famous they have a lot of food on their menu actually but they're very famous for their ramen Ramen is served hot and fresh. This is Hakata style ramen. Really thick pork bone soup. It is, looks buttery, looks so rich. Uh, so then the noodles are boiled, then they put them into the broth. They top it with some slices of chashu, some a nice handful of sliced green onions, and then some pickled ginger and some, some sesame seeds on the top. Looks really good, looks really rich. Taste that broth first. Oh, oh wow that is so thick and hearty and rich and porky. And then you taste that kind of salty soy sauce flavor to it. Oh, and you taste the flavor of maybe like, kind of tastes like ginger in there too. Oh man, that's so much flavor, condensed. Some kind of pepper. Mm. Mm hmm. Nice and chewy. And oh, those noodles are great. Chewy, have a little bit of a, like elasticity bite to them. Absorbed just the right amount of that rich broth. And the flavor of the sesame seeds, the pork, and then all those green onions. And then I like that, the pickled ginger in there is a nice touch. Wow, that's a tasty bowl of ramen. Mm -hmm. oh. And again, Fukuoka is the birthplace of this style of ramen. Um, this is where it was invented. This is where they do it so well. And this is just a like a very like rich, rich bowl. It just feels so good. Okay, when I came here, I was the first, I was the only one. Now it's almost full. 
Okay, last piece of cashew, last noodles. Wow. That was extraordinary. Okay, thank you, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, that was, that'll keep you warm for days. The thickness of that broth, it was like a gravy, a little bit oily quite salty but so tasty and I got the firm noodles which I really love for ramen what a place again yeah great bowl of Hakata ramen that wraps up four places so far four out of five we have one more place to go that's gonna wrap up this ultimate Yatai Japanese street food tour oh can you see the smoke coming out of the top of the, this tent. Oh, that smells so incredibly good. We've made it. This is number five. This is our last yatai on this ultimate Japanese street food tour, and it's called Yatai Kawacha. Uh, <laughs> Cheers to an amazing night eating through yatai street food stalls in Fukuoka. And you know what? I love so much is that this is a traditional, this is an old part of the culture of Japan. And it's been around for so many hundreds of years. And I mean, as Japan has developed and grown and progressed, you know, it's become less and less. And so now Fukuoka is really one of the main places that you'll find yatai, which I hope will be preserved, will last forever because it's such a cool part of the culture. It's such a great style of eating. I mean, the interaction, the people that you get to meet is really what it's about and the delicious food. Here we go, it all comes down to this, yakitori. This place is known for their yakitori, although we ordered a couple more dishes and they have an assortment of different things. I think, well, I've learned all yatai, they seem to have a specialty, but then they also serve almost everything at the same time. Although you come here for one thing and then you get a lot of, and this is like a classic izakaya. They have yakitori, they have omelets, they have a variety of organ dishes. This is quite an assortment of yakitori. There's some interesting things going on. A lot of sausage-y looking meats, some meatballs, a hot dog, and there's tomatoes wrapped in ham, I believe. Everything grilled fresh, hot. Looks and smells really good, and this is what we're gonna end this tour with. I think I'll try one of these. Okay, they kind of look like meatballs, but it might be a, a gizzard or something. Yeah, possibly it is a, a gizzard. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's gizzard. Has that crunch to it? Oh, it's so tasty though. Wow. Like the flavor that comes out of it is incredible. The juiciness, the crunch, and there's little onions in between it that give it a nice, a nice switch of taste. Wow. Salty and tasty. Talk about a mixed plate though of yakitori. Some interesting, definitely some interesting and unique skewers. This one is the tomato with wrapped in bacon or ham. Oh, it's so good. That tomato just melts in your mouth into the salty bacon, smoky bacon on the outside. And next up, I think it looks like a, almost like a little kebab. I'll add on a little bit of that chili. Mm. Oh, I think that is a chicken kebab. <laughs> chicken, ground up. It has a little bit of a seasoning to it. Mm. I think it has some cartilage in it too, because it has this crunch every now and then. Good, like minced chicken.
Yeah, this is food that's just made to pair with beverages. <laughs> okay, and I think this is the last dish that we have here. Matsunabe. It's just like a pig organ and intestine soup with vegetables, with uh, cabbage and leeks, I believe. Wow, that's good. Well, that broth is so salty and so much flavor. Then I only got cabbage and leek in, or leeks in that, or chives, I think, in that bite. Um, but then you have some of those wiggly pig organs in there as well. He cut up some fresh garlic and put it in that soup, which you can taste as well. Last skewer here, I really want to try. I'm not actually totally sure what it is, but I'm kind of a. Whoa, it's like. A really juicy, crispy, fatty pork with shiso leaf. Mmm. Whoa. Oh. I think this is gonna, I'm gonna call it right here. This is gonna be my final skewer of the night. My final bite. My final food at these Yatai stalls. It's, this is a good thing to end with. And so that's going to complete this Japanese street food tour. I wanna to say a big thank you to Kyushu Tourism for helping me to arrange it and make contacts. Uh, for this tour. Thank you Kyushu Tourism and then I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you and if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos and also make sure you watch this entire series. We're traveling around the island of Kyushu eating some incredible Japanese food that you're not going to want to miss. So thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next video.